What's up, my race family? Today's the day, baby. Look around me. I got fenders in the back seats. I got my drag radios in the front, another one in the trunk. I got race fuel in the trunk, soup lights down there. There's parts everywhere. I'm gonna go meet up with the car. Yesterday, we got it started for the first time. I put a quick little video on Instagram. Man, what an emotional feeling to hear it come to life after so much freaking time, energy, money that goes into these cars. When they finally come to life, it was a very uh, rewarding feeling. But anyhow, the wiring is done. Clearly, the car started. I'm getting some last minute things buttoned up. So I'll show you guys the car once we get down to the shop where it's at. Had some exhaust work done, some changes to my intercooler piping. So I'll show you guys that. And today is the dyno, guys. Today is Tuesday the 12th. Uh, Texas 2K19 starts tomorrow. I'll be actually heading out there on Thursday. Um, but man, we got two days to make sure the car is perfect, throw it on a trailer, and get out there. So let's let's get to the shop and show you guys some of the progress. It's been a long time without you, my baby. Yo, guys, I'm driving the freaking dyno. I haven't driven this car in about a year and a half. I couldn't be more excited. I got some tires in this car now. I got some extra fuel with me. Let's see what the hell this thing puts down. I usually don't push it crazy hard on the dyno. I'd rather turn it up at the, tra at the track or on the street. Um, so I'm not really looking for peak power, but I just can't wait to hear it build boost and make some steam. So extremely pumped. First time driving it with no power steering. Not that big of a deal. It's not really that bad at all. I'll make a review on that for you guys. But damn it, am I happy. I wanted to record a lot more back at the shop where the car was at. But I was in a hurry, I did an oil change, we had breaking oil in it, did an oil change, let the brakes, had to do a bunch of mis uh, miscellaneous things, gap the spark plugs accordingly, we got everything ready now, so heading to the dyno, we got about 30 minutes or so before our dyno session, so I'll keep you guys posted baby, I'll see you there. Guys, just made it to the dyno, I just saw my tuner and Lance come through, any minute we'll be on the dyno, there's a car finishing up and we're next. So I got here a little early, give the car some time to cool down. It's burning hot, it's like 90 degrees in Florida. It's damn hot in that dyno room, but let's see what power this thing puts down. Check out these new shirts, guys. The race family, baby, that's you guys. Much love. We'll have these available in Texas. Catch you guys there.
our home. The dyno did not go exactly like planned, but I'm still very positive. I got the best group of guys working together to get this car right. We don't have a lot of time before Texas, but I'm sure we'll get it dialed in. We'll get it good enough to make some badass runs in Texas. But for now, there's still a lot of work ahead of us. I'll fill you guys in once I get home. For now, we're driving down the highway, baby. Good old Florida highways. Always gotta have a smile on your face, baby. With these cars, nothing's ever predictable. We'll work shit out. I'm over here stranded on the side of the road. I ran into some transmission problems, but you know what? Nothing that can't be fixed. Here comes family now, my brother-in-law. We're gonna get this bad boy home. I'll fill you guys more in in a little bit, but we ran into some training problems on the dyno. We're gonna run it to ATF first thing tomorrow morning. We don't have a lot of time, but we'll get it right. We'll see what the hell went wrong. Could be the converter, could be the, could be the transmission, but we'll get it fixed and back on the dyno on Thursday and off to Texas Thursday. I'll see you guys soon. Come on, baby! Ready to the rescue! We'll get this motherfucker home. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. What's up, race family? I'm gonna show you guys the ups and the downs. Man, we've been working hard on this car for the last 10 days, 11 days, 12, I don't even remember. So many nights going to bed at three, four in the morning. I've had a team effort from the guys who helped me with the wiring. Those guys did an amazing job. The guys over at the dyno today, my tuner, I mean, you name it. It's been a team effort. We've all put in crazy long hours and I really felt like we were due. With all this effort we've put in, we were due for a smooth dyno session and get this thing. My, my, my plans were to get it detailed tomorrow, throw it on the trailer and head to Texas on Thursday. Those plans are out the window. Today on the dyno, the car made, I think like 700 horsepower is the first pass, 690 something. And that was like a, I forget, like six or 7,000 RPM pool. I had like 20 pounds of booze. Then I made like 750, then I made like 900, made 1,050. And after the 1,050 pass, we gave it two more runs. And right when it would go into, right when it was going into power, here, I'm getting towed right now. Check this out. <laughs> Yo, all right, give me a second. I got a turn, I got no power steering. All right, all right, we're not doing too bad. I gotta pay attention. The last thing I need now is to stick my uh, intercooler through the back of that Escalade. All right, one second. I can't even see the light. Oh, that bitch is red. Oh, fuck. I'm stopping him with the e-brake to keep the slack on the cord. All right, on the strap, here we go. All right, red or red light, I keep talking. Guys, so anyhow, the idea was to be get the car detailed tomorrow, be on a trailer by Thursday and ready to go to Texas. Um, today on the dyno, after the 1,050 run, we gave it two more passes, and right as the car was going into strong power, right in the middle of the pool, it'll just spin and go straight to red line. And it wasn't spinning the tire. Um, it was something to do with the transmission or the converter. We're not 100% sure. Um, I do have a backup transmission, but I want to go to Texas with the backup transmission, not go on the backup transmission. So I'm not sure if it's a trainee or the converter, to be perfectly honest. Um, I brought the car. I was... I was attempting to drive the car to my house tonight so I can take the transmission down and the converter, take it to ATF and get it looked at, but I got stranded about a mile from my house. So I have my brother-in-law pulling me to the house now. <laughs> All right, we're going again, so I gotta pay good attention. Um, he's pulling me to my house now. Then I still have to go back down south to the shop that was working on my car because the other car that I drove there this morning, the Lexus, that's still out there. Here, give me one second. So I gotta go pick that up, the tools are in that car, and then come home, work on the car tonight, take the transmission converter down, take it tomorrow to ATF, um, and then I made an appointment to go dyno tune the car again on Thursday, Thursday, 10 in the morning. I can't, I don't think I oh fuck. Ooh, fuck. Ooh. <laughs> all right, all right, one second, guys. Oh shit. That's what a 1260 foot feels like. Oh, there goes the 1.3. All right, we're, 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 we're okay. Oh my goodness, that was bad. That's what I get for videoing and getting pulled at the rope. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, listen, ups and downs, I'm a freaking record it all. I'm truly blessed. The team of people that I have helped me with this car, I wouldn't trade for nothing. Um, one of my good friends, 
that sounded terrible guys i've had a long day one of my good friends good buddy shane he lives in north carolina he's going to texas with us he's actually going to come down to florida today to spend the night at our house and help me trash on the car tomorrow help me take it back to the dyno on thursday because i can't miss work on thursday so he'll be doing that for me fingers crossed it all goes good then we'll put it on the trailer and take it straight to texas guys so we're not going to give up oh fuck speed bumps we're not going to give up you know what all of this mess is just going to make it that much sweeter when we run a personal best in, in, over at texas this this coming weekend so we're not going to give up we still got a lot of uh energy a lot of friends are willing to help so i'll keep you guys posted man i'm almost to my house now uh, all right let me cut the camera all right guys, back in my garage, it's 1130 at night. Um, my good buddy Gabriel, I've talked to you guys about him before, he's been a huge help putting the car together. Um, he just got done working on a 12 hour shift and when I told him the car needed some help, he showed up right away. The plans are, we're gonna take the transmission and torque converter down, have it to ATF first thing in the morning. Um, normally, and I was telling him earlier as well, normally I'd be crazy stressed after putting in 10 or 12, I already forget how many days of hard working for the car, crazy long hours, crap load of money, and things didn't go the way you want them to, you get, I would normally get crazy angry, but I have the best support system. My wife is amazing, and you guys know that. Um, she's all for me working on the car and getting it ready for the event. The baby was just in here with us in the garage and my wife. Um, as soon as I told him the car needed some help, he just got done working a crazy long shift. He said, I'll be right over your house. He came over. You guys saw my brother-in-law pulling me with a rope back to the house. Um, I talked to Jason over at ATF. He's expecting the trainee and, and converter first thing in the morning to see to find out what the problem is. I have another buddy, Shane. He's driving from North Carolina to South Florida right now as we speak. He was going to be joining us for, for the Texas event. He's going to be staying with us. But rather than waiting till Thursday night to meet up, He's gonna meet up with us. He'll be here in a couple hours. He, as soon as I told him I needed some help, I didn't even tell him I need help. As soon as he heard we're running into some issues, he's like, I'll be there. Cause on Thursday, I'm actually slammed to work. I'll be stuck working, but we're hoping to have the car ready by then. And he's actually gonna take it down to the dyno, finish the dyno session, hoping to make some good power and then get it back on a trailer and ready for Texas. So lots have happened. T today the dyno, I really wanted to record more, but we, we had a crazy, so when we started the dyno session, we had a crazy vibration, and we thought it was the dry shaft that just wasn't aligned, or something was going wrong with that. We took the car off the straps, put it on the lift, got underneath it, made some adjustments to the dry shaft, brought it back down. It, it wasn't even that. It turns out the, the car has sat, you guys know that, for over a year, so the back, the back tires had like a flat spot, and it was creating just crazy vibration on the dyno. Um, so we ran into that, and then we ran into the, the, the spark plugs weren't gapped properly and kept blowing the spark. We ran into that. And then just thing after thing after thing. So I didn't I didn't record much of the dyno. I have a few dyno pools. I'll show you guys that. But I'm gonna get cracking with Gabriel now. Get this transmission out of the car. Um, and you guys know the plan. My other buddy will be here probably three, four in the morning tonight. And then get to ATF in the morning. Let me introduce you guys to my buddy Gabriel. Gabe, say what's up, man. What's up, man? Gabriel here, you know? We're doing big things here. <laughs> Putting in long fucking hours. I gotta get more lights in this garage. With time, I wanna put a lift. The roof is not crazy high, but if we can raise the car a couple of feet, it would be great. But I threw some water on it earlier today just to clean it up some. I hadn't seen it this clean in a long freaking time. But all right, guys, back to work. I'll catch you guys up on more info as we go.